Welcome to Workshop Wednesday. I hope you've grabbed your cup of coffee. I'm having my first cup here on the West Coast. It's 10 o'clock, um, but I'm still enjoying my coffee. Today we're going to use the uh, Brew Some Fun stamp set. So I'm going to kind of wait for a couple of people to jump on and let me make sure that I'm in the right place over here so I can see your comments. Um, see if it has popped up yet. There we go. So hopefully I'm going to be able to see your comments. Um, I'm going to move my coffee out of the way though off of my craft table because we don't want to have an accident. Um, so I hope everybody had a good long weekend and maybe you got some crafting in. I sure did. Uh, good morning, Pam. We're on the West Coast. I mean the East Coast. It's um, noonish, right? One o'clock. So anyway, I did a lot of crafting. I prepared my wreath classes to go. I kind of started on my um, plentiful plants class. So that's a reminder that um, this uh, Friday is the last day to register for this class. And this is the one with the the plant cards and there was a couple of fancy folds. This is one of the fancy folds. Um, let's see here. There's this card. This one. This one. This one. And here's the other fancy fold. So this class has three options. You can get all the materials to make these six cards and there was a bonus project for the um to hold all the cards um so you can get all the material option one is to get all the materials to make these cards um which i package them up like this and send them to you you'll get a package of the gilded gems a quarter pack of the dsp and the bundle i don't have the bundle in front of me which is the stamps and the dies and that one is $65. Um, so uh, I, I'll send all that to you. Plus it includes the step-by-step -step instructions, a PDF. Um, option two is just all the supplies, the Gilded Gems and the tutorial for $30. And then I always sell my, just the PDF tutorial for 15. So this Friday is the last day to register for that class. So if you've already registered, I will send the invoices out on, um, well, after Friday. And then um, I can order the stuff and start your kits. Um, last week's winner was Kelly Frank. Um, she won the Kangaroo and Company. So I don't have the stamp set that I'm giving away today, but it's going to be the the tie-dye one, uh, it's called Spiral Dye. I'm waiting for my package to come today. So I don't have it on hand, but that's gonna be the um, prize for this week. If you share my video, let me know that you're sharing my video and um, you'll be entered to win the Spiral Dye stamp set. Um, it's a new month, it's already June 2nd. Where did May go? I don't know, but we have a new uh, Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial, June. In June, all the projects are around um, items in the new catalog, in the new annual catalog. So you can earn that with a $30 order. Good morning, Debbie. I see you have joined us. Um, my PDF or um, project sheet um, has posted. All right. So... As I said, I don't know if you guys heard, uh, were on, but we're gonna use the Brew Some Fun stamp set. Let me tape that down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the more complicated project. And it's not really complicated, but have you guys seen these candles at um, Dollar Tree? <clears throat> so there's this um, holder, and then you can actually put a gift card in there as well. Um, this packaging, 
I had seen, and I do not recall the demonstrator's name. It was from a, a few years ago. But um, if you're watching and it's your idea, please let me know. So I picked up a couple of these candles. Oops, the label's coming off. Um, but we're going to start out with some crumb cake cardstock. So let me... Let me hope that I remember to do this right. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. These darn allergies. <clears throat> These darn allergies here. The weather's been so beautiful, but I have so many flowers in my backyard. My window here leads into my backyard. So that's why my little hummingbirds are always here. Okay, so this is going to be two and three quarters. Yesterday, I opened the windows because it was so hot. And so, I actually left it open, and I think all the pollen came in. So, two and three quarters by 11. And then, we're going to need another one, two and three quarters. It looks like I need to change my blade again. I've been doing a lot of cutting. And then, this is nine and a quarter. So this one's going to be the insert. And let me grab my Simply Score and we'll do some scoring. Okay, so oops, this one's the insert. So we'll do the insert first. So the nine and a quarter side, we're going to score it at a half inch. Three and a quarter. Six and eight and three quarters. And then the short side, we're just going to go at a half. Uh, mine wasn't all the way to the end over here. So my line is was not straight. So here's the, this is going to be the back of the box, so to speak. So the long side, we're going to score it again at a half. Three and a quarter three and three quarters, and six and a half. So I hope I'm doing this right. I believe that I am. <laughs> that should do it on the scoring. But for the insert, this is gonna go like this. Correct? Yeah, this is gonna go like this. You know what, I was actually on, I created my projects last week. I was way ahead of myself <laughs> this week. So now I'm like questioning myself. So this block here where the two smaller sections are, we're gonna put a circle in there, a hole. And I hope this is the correct one. I have a bunch of circle dies out, but I believe it's this one which I think is like the fourth to the largest. So like the middle. You know what? For some reason, I'm thinking this isn't the right die now. Leave it to me. But yeah, this isn't the right die. Um, darn it, hang on a second. See, I should have known. Uh, should have known. See, that's what happens when you're ahead of yourself. <laughs> For once I was prepared, but I wasn't really prepared. Okay, here we go. So, Because I knew it, it fit more. It barely fit. So, let's cut again. Did that move? I can't tell if it moved. But how many of you joined us for game night? That was fun again. I really like to do, I would really like to do that more often. Actually, the order that I'm waiting for, I ordered some more prizes. Um, as long as I can get prizes, uh, we'll keep on doing game nights. Okay, so there, that should be, see how it barely fits the, in there? 
So I had already kind of burnished these. Was that one supposed to be there too? It goes like that. And so we're gonna add some tear and tape. I'm kind of not even following my own instructions. Isn't that bad? I'm over here acting like I know what I'm doing. So you can fold this down like this and then just fold this over and then that'll work. Okay, so let's put that aside and now let's work with this one with my my Cricut line. My things keep wanting to roll away. Let me see. We're going to burnish all those lines and we are cutting out I believe I'm cutting out both ends here. And we're gonna cut these up. I think I cut that one out. I'm like, I think, I think, I think. I should be sure, right? So now this is gonna go around like this. And this will set right in there. Okay, so now we're gonna add tear and tape to all of these tabs. So, question on game night, what are your favorite games? I thought my, um, my scavenger hunts, that those would be hard. But man, you ladies were quick last week. Quick, quick, quick. Look, I ran out. Oh. I must have knew that because I already had another one on hand. Yeah, you ladies were so quick. Oh, you missed game night. But that must have been ha fun having your son and grandson. We used to do that. We'd camp either in our backyard or and sometimes at my parents' house in the front yard. We would just go over there and spend some time with them in camp. It's fun. I think my kids at first used to think I was a little cuckoo. Like, why are we camping in the backyard? Or the front yard? We'd do it just like we were camping. We'd get up in the morning. We'd make pancakes and have some fun. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let me make sure that I'm going to do this right. Because for some reason, oh, I know. I'm just, I'm being a little bit cautious here because I don't want to mess this up. So you're going to line that up there. And we could have notched those. And then that, this one is going to come over like this. Again, here's Lisa making things com looking complicated and they're not. <laughs> but if we would have notched those ends, this would have been a little bit cleaner cut because you could see how I totally missed my score line there. And then we'll take these two off. And we're gonna use, we're gonna cover this up with some designer series paper. That one goes right over like that. This one goes right over like that. Then we can secure it. It looks like I don't have this very secure. But now let me make sure that I use the right size. After all, I did, so now it'll fit. Okay, so now let's get all this stuff out of the way and we'll get our designer series paper. So I'm using the designer series paper from the um, party pattern. It's the host one again. I just love this paper and um, I can't stop using it. So we need some, let me see. 
two and a half by two. We need three pieces. So two and a half. And then by two. And those are gonna be your three sides. This thing locks up on me. Two and two. Let me make sure, yeah, so that those are gonna go on their sides. So now that our stripes are this way, the one in the back, we wanna make sure the stripes are going the same way. So I need a three and a half by two. And I think this might be two or oh, let's go three and a half. By two. Is that right? That is totally not right. What did I do wrong here? Am I looking at the oh it's three and a half by two and a half. My bad. So another two and a half. And then three and a half. And that should go there. And then on the back, the back side, we're gonna do, uh, I think I used all my, it's four and a quarter. And it's two and five eighths. Two, one, two, three, four, two and five eighths. So I thought right after the half. So I'm a little bit short, but we're gonna use this piece because I have, then I'd have to go grab some more of this. Oh, maybe I have it right here. Is this two and five eighths? Mm, it's about the same. These are all two and a half. All right. Well, that's okay. Not a problem. So we can now adhere all our pieces. But what I wanted to do is I like to round my corners on these. So if you have a round corner punch, you can go ahead and round it. And then... I'm gonna do the same on the paper that goes on the inside, the designer series paper. Okay. Like I said, I guess this is the more complicated one because of all the pieces. The other two are fairly easy. So hopefully you guys can go to your local Dollar Tree and find um, these candles, they have different ones. This one will round in the back as well, for the back. Um, I found that there's another Dollar Tree, ah, fairly close to me, that their selection is way better. So I kind of wanted to cover up those you know, flaps in the back. So that's why I added this piece. And then now we can just stick all these on. They have a way better selection. So I, I need to go over there. I keep going to the one that's closest to me, but the other one has a better selection. Ah, I keep getting my fingers in the glue. I'm gonna need a baby wipe because my hands are gonna be all sticky. All right. Mm. Wendy, you just ordered a pack of this DSP. One pack. I, you know what? I actually just ordered two packs because what I'm gonna do is for my next game night, I'm gonna cut at least a half a pack and give it, you know, I'll cut a half a pack in six by six and give it away as a prize. Cause who doesn't like DSP? Especially this one. So we can, my, this label's gonna keep coming off, but we can either put that or we can save it for later. So let's make our tags now. So our tag, I'm gonna use 
pale papaya and um, crumb cake. So we're gonna use the stitch circle, which again, I'm not sure what I did here because I don't think this is a stitch circle. Tell you, I had all these circles out and then I'm like, I must have put them, put them away. I thought I was putting them all on my little thing. Yep, this one's too small. Huh. Oh my goodness. Hold on a minute. Let me grab the circles again. What is wrong with you, Lisa? Let me see which one I used. That one looks like that one. And then, of course, I got the sticky glue on my hands. It's sticking to me. Yes, Wendy, you have to try to make the game night. But like I say, these women were so fast, you better have some good running shoes on. I was like, man, I can't even keep up. They were so quick. So that's the one. And then now this die goes with the... Um, that coordinates with this brew pack. Um, we're going to use this die. And it coordinates with the brew pack. Oh, now I know why I had that other die out. Is this one even right? Yeah, this is right. But I had this die out because now we're going to use very vanilla. This is the one for the top. That's why I had that one out. So we got a lot of die cutting going on. Okay. So... You're gonna be using a lot of the layering circle dies, and then of course the dies that coordinate with the stamp set, which are the wrapped, wrapped ones. So let's get this all together. We're gonna to be using early espresso. And what tags do I have out for stamps? Okay. This one says, it's your birthday. And we're gonna stamp it right here on this one. And then I just need a piece of scrap paper because I'm gonna stamp off these hats. And then just go right over it like that. And now this one's gonna go on the lid and we'll use a dimensional. Mention all on there. It's your birthday. Let's brew some fun. I must be using that stamp somewhere else. I am. So let's brew some fun. We're going to stamp it on the pale papaya. My pads pretty much all need to be re inked. And that's another thing I just ordered. I had to order a whole of the a whole collection of the re-inkers and so we're gonna put this one right here this will go on the front of our box but we're not done because we'll add that right there now we're gonna stamp the the coffee cup I have those out somewhere to the coffee pot. And the teacup, I guess. And the teacup. So we're going to put both of those on very vanilla. And we're gonna color them in with, I got the crumb cake uh, stamp and blends. We're just gonna do these stripes here. Uh oh, I 
did them in dark and I should have did them in light. But that's okay. We're going to do this one in um, light. We're just going to do the wrap. So it looks like it's a cardboard wrap on it. We used to have some paper like that. They did it away with. But. I don't know why. I thought, like I said, I was all prepared for this and then I'm still like, where's this, where's that? Okay. Now the only one that there's a die for is the teacup. There's not one oops, for the coffee cup, so we're gonna have to fussy cut that. Can you guys hear the birds chirping outside? I still have my window open. Just a little. And then um, we are going to fussy cut the other one real quick. Usually my little hummingbirds are roaming around here. I already seen them this morning. But I kind of haven't looked up, but I could even hear them. They're so, it's amazing how quick um, their feathers go, you know, that they fly, that you can just hear them zoom by. Okay. So now we're just going to use some dimensionals, just stick it on the side here, add this one here, this other one we might need a mini, let's use a mini dimensional, put over here, add the little cup here, and then we need our pale papaya ribbon. Tie this around the top. You might want to lay it flat. Probably should have took the candle out too. The birds are out there chirping away. And then we'll just cut this here. This ribbon tends to shred at the ends, as you can see. So, oh, there. Work this bow around and then add our gift card. And there's your little candle gift card holder. There's project number one. One and done. Let me clean off these stamps. These all use the early espresso, so it's so dark. And <clears throat> I don't want to drop it on anything. I've had that boo-boo happen a few times. Dropped my ink pads right on my next project. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this one next. Let me get all this other stuff out of the way. Boy, it's amazing how much trash you could collect. Okay. So this one is pretty simple. We're just gonna use, uh, we're just the mini coffee cups. And it's uh, Let's Brew Some Fun Again. And I filled this with um, the coffee candies. You know, me and those coffee candies. That's one thing when I'm crafting, that's all I ever do is eat those coffee candies. I don't, it's just, I don't know, they're yummy. So, let me still get this out of the way. 
I'm gonna cut this um, paper, I think, at two inches. I just love this heart paper, don't you guys? So pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And then <clears throat> I cut it at two inches and we're gonna cut out the two, um, two pieces to wrap our cup. So I could probably only fit one at a time. You know how last week I had dropped something behind my desk and I couldn't get it? Well, last night I had dropped my other die here. And I was like, oh, I gotta go back there and get it. I gotta climb back there and get it because I needed it for today. So we'll just cut two of those out. I like right where my desk is at because again, I'm right towards the backyard and I can see all my flowers and my hummingbirds and all that. So I don't move even though I have no room behind me. All right, we're gonna cut two of these. Two, actually I think we need four of these. We're gonna need four. There's these two. can't get them off. Oops, there's one. There's two. And, um, you know, those of you that do scrapbooking, our Sweet Stampin' Friends tutorial, there's usually always a scrapbook page in there. Usually, I think there's only been one time that we didn't have one. So for those of you who like to scrapbook, there's always some very cute, cute, cute scrapbook pages. I actually done one once and I haven't done a scrapbook page in forever. Okay, my dies are falling off. Okay, what else do we need for this project? Might as well cut it all since I'm here. I'm gonna need that one, this is that same circle. And of course, that's not gonna fit. And then we need this like octagon. I thought I had grabbed enough granny apple green. <clears throat> There's the octagon. And I do have a piece of granny apple green right here that I could use for now. So we're using that one that goes with the coffee set. are going to need a little coffee cup which I had already done here but I want to show you what I did I took the tea bag off of it so let's let's go ahead and stamp that first and then I'll cut it out so what I did is I used my stamp and write marker and where the tea bag is I stopped my lines so I brushed everything on, oops, this is in the way. I brushed all the lines on everything but the tea bag, because I didn't want it to be a tea cup. I wanted it to be like just a coffee cup. So hopefully I got just the lines. You know, you breathe on it, I'll put that, and then we'll stamp it. There's no tea bag, right? But then you're like, well, then there's no lines. Well, then that's where we use our other end of our stamp and write marker and just draw those lines, which I did a terrible job at. But our lines are there, and then now we have a coffee cup instead of a tea cup. And let's get that little die out again. and cut it out. So there's, I think now we have all of our pieces and now we can assemble. <laughs> there's
there's a lot of pieces to this one, huh? My paper is all falling all over the place. I tried to tape it down so that I, I know to stay in my camera, but I'm like moving all over with the stamp and cut. Okay, so we have this, this, our little coffee cup that we just did. That took off from me. I can't pick it up. Our coffee cup. Let's get this out of the way. We have these. How many of you guys own this set, these dies? These dies were from the holiday catalog last year. And um, I was kind of disappointed that they did away with that stamp set. But then of course, you know, they get, a, get rid of one and then they have something else in mind, but we don't know that at the time. So let's glue these pieces together. And these match up. The liquid glue, you still have time for it to move. But yeah, I was kind of like, what are you guys doing? Going away with that. Trying to find the two. This is the shorter. So the shorter go on the bottom. Oops. See, that's why I use my, my mat. Let's hold that there for a minute or so. Or that was probably less than a minute. Go there. And this one, and I try to line them up so that they're perfectly matched here. And I got my a little hummingbird here right now. Maybe they'll chirp so you could hear it. You know, my hummingbirds, the hummingbirds remind me of my parents. I don't know why this one's a little bit longer. But, hmm, it's not the, it's the right size. I don't know what happened there, why that came out a little bit longer. But I don't want to put the bone folder on this just yet, but if it was like dry for a bit, you can run your bone folder so that it would uh, be more flexible. But we're just gonna go ahead and attach this. I'll hold it for a couple of minutes. Not a couple of minutes, but I'll hold it. Um, yeah, I was so surprised that these didn't carry over as well. Just the dies but I really like the holiday stamp set. Okay, so there is that, finally. And then we're gonna go ahead and stamp in Granny Apple Green, which I have over here for the next project. Let's brew some fun. You guys have any other ideas what you could put inside these cups? You know me and the coffee candy, but um, I was thinking too, you could put, uh, like hot chocolate, a hot chocolate packet in there and maybe some mini marshmallows or you can put, um, I think one of the little, uh, bottles of alcohol, like, um, Bailey's with the instant coffee. Those are all, um, ideas and then you can, um. Do that for Father's Day or or uh, any masculine 
time with the booze. What guy doesn't like a booze? So this one I'm actually putting on with the glue dot and not the dimensional. Right like that. So this ribbon here is the Flowers for Every Season ribbon. I really like this ribbon. I might have a hard time because I don't have no weight inside my cup. I have to go get some coffee candies. Like I say, that's all I do is sit and eat those. They're so addicting. Sit and I guess I, I, it's better than picking up chocolate. I love my chocolate. Don't get me wrong. I love to have chocolate. But if I sat there eating all those, that as many chocolates as I do these coffee candies, <laughs> It would be not good, probably not good for my health. So we're gonna put that on. I don't have my hole puncher, but like I showed you guys before, we could just, oh, that was not good. Punch a hole through with our, let me grab my punch. Or actually, look, it's here for, I guess, the other project. That was not good. But you usually can do that <laughs> with the, but now that I tore it, I didn't wanna tear it some more. We'll just put our string through here. And have you guys shopped the clearance, the last chance clearance sale yet? I have not, because I had just, I actually had just placed two orders I was trying to help a friend reach her Silver Elite. So I purchased from her and then I had to place the order for myself. And that's the one I'm waiting on today. So we'll tie that up. That bow's awfully big. And Oh, before I forget, last week I was, made that cookie pouch. And of course, I went to the store after and got the, my bow's a little bit loose. I'll have to tighten it up. But um, I went and got them and I have it so I can show you what cookie, but they're different sizes. These ones I think I got are too big, but I might try and make another project with one of them. So there's our little coffee candy holder. See, my bow's too loose. I didn't do it tight enough. But there's project number two. But I will sh definitely show you the, um, the cookies that I bought and the, what I was talking about. Um, let's clean off these stamp pads, stamps real quick. <laughs> Any other ideas? K pods, yeah, a couple of K pods in there. That would be, that would work. Ooh, chocolate covered coffee beans. Well, it's funny that you say that, Pam, because look at our next project. It's like this little shopping bag, and it holds the chocolate. Um, Express chocolate covered espresso beans and I picked these up at Trader Joe's you could see But I'm sure those would these would fit in that cup as well But I made this little tote and it opens up and see they're in there So let's go ahead and start this project now on this one. I'm using the thick whisper white I have stuff all over I need to get stuff out of my way <laughs> so I can follow my own directions. Okay, so I'm using the thick Whisper White, or wow, Whisper White, basic white, because I wanted this just to be a little bit sturdy. Um, so this is going to be 10 and a half by 5 and a quarter. So let's five and a quarter and then 
10 and a half. Since this is 11, we're just going to cut a half off. There we go. Cut that half off. So we're going to score this one now. And we're going to score at a half. One, one and a half, five and a half, six and a half, and then one inch on the short side. Okay, so we'll burnish all those lines. That's my bone folder. How many of you are coffee lovers? Some people don't care for coffee. I have to have coffee, but I think I get that from my dad. My dad was a coffee drinker. So what we're gonna do is just snip off these ends, angle them, kind of like any bag, cut off this one corner, and we'll cut, up, cut these ones up, up, and up. All right, so what we're gonna do here, I don't know why my bone folder keeps doing that. It keeps the, the ink or whatever from here. This is from my team, the Lucky Charms. I got each of my team members one of these. But it's like that ink keeps, or whatever they use for it, gets on there. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna stamp the coffee cups in um, all over in the different inks. So I'm using polished pink. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just stamp them around. Use the little coffee cup as well. So I, this one you do have to be careful because see what I just did? Look, I'm pressing too hard. And we're gonna need to clean these in between. So I'm using polished pink, pumpkin pie, gorgeous grape, and granny apple green. A mixture of colors. So again, we're just gonna all over, no right or wrong. Just don't press so hard with this one, otherwise you're gonna have all those marks like me. Try not to put the same color. This was a nice bright bag. The only color I didn't use in here was a yellow. Here goes a oh, here's my little hummingbird. This one is the female. She's sitting here watching. She's actually perched up on the on the feeder. It's so funny because I swear these hummingbirds know when I'm ready to take a picture of them. I go grab my camera and the minute I do, they take off. I'm like little stinkers. They're like, oh, this lady's gonna try and get a picture. But the other day I went out in the evening and I was actually taking a picture of a project of mine and um, they uh, both were there on the feeder and I was able to get a picture of them. Let's do this one upside down. Yes, that halo effect, getting it all over my, it's, I don't know why I press so hard and I don't need to. Oh, I smeared some pumpkin pie there. So that should be good. Get all these inks out of the way. Clean these stamps real quick. And we'll add some tear and tape. Yeah, those little hummingbirds, they're such amazing 
creatures. They're so tiny. They're so fast. They drink a lot. I just had to refill my feeders yesterday because uh, they drink so much. Okay, so with this one, we're just going to fold it over and adhere. And then we're going to flip our flaps in. I added two pieces here. I just wanted it to be extra secure. And these little bags of um, espresso coffee beans, they were only um, 99 cents at Trader Joe's. I know some of you might not have a Trader Joe's near you, but I'm sure the supermarkets carry them. So I'm punching a hole in there in the sides because now we're going to push these in and we're going to add our ribbon. I was trying to look for a better side. I have a halo here and I have a halo there. But it is what it is. So we're going to use this pretty gorgeous grape ribbon as our handle. If I can get it through there. I make them sugar water. <clears throat> so for the hummingbirds, it's four cups of water to one cup of sugar. And then you kind of, um, you know, you boil the water so that it, um, so that the sugar will dissolve. And then you can keep it in your, the remaining up in your fridge. And then so this piece is going to go over here. But yeah, they, they love it. You know, at first they weren't coming around when spring sp sprung. I actually, I've had them all year round, but it was kind of like, wow, we're seeing them less and less now that spring. And um, what it was is because they were feeding off the flowers. You know, they were, I'm gonna do this one a second time. They were feeding off the flowers and then all of a sudden they start coming to the feeders and they're funny, they'll fight. It's like if one's at the feeder and another one comes, it'll shoot away and then it'll go like over there on the power line and like watch it, like guard it. See the other one come up and it'll come and shoot away. I can sit and watch them forever. I made this handle a little bit long, but there's the base of our bag. We can put our espresso beans in there. And now we're gonna cut with these circle dies again. So this is, I think, the largest die I'm using. And then I have this one. These are where I got all these dies mixed up. Okay, this one is Granny Apple Green. Let's put this one on here. So let's do these two for now. I needed to like mark which die, which circle was which. Um, we need that Granny Apple Green. We need this one. And now we're going to need a scalloped one in white, which I think that's where this one came into play. <laughs> Trying to figure all these circles out. And then I also need a pumpkin pie heart, which the heart is out of that coffee set as well. So let me get the heart. And here's my piece of pumpkin pie. And then we're going to stamp the cup again. Okay, so that should be all those pieces. And I think we're done with the die cutting. I want to make sure that this does not have... Yeah, this set does not have the... 
the cup one. <clears throat> Excuse me again. These dang allergies. So we're going to stamp the cup in polished pink. And then we're going to fussy cut it again. But then we're going to stamp on here. Sending thanks with a whole latte love. Right there. Like it's funny, like you could see that my inks are kind of faded. You could tell the, the Brights collection is <laughs> one that I use quite a bit. Okay, so we did our stamping. We'll cut this out in a second. So that we can get this time to dry. So all I did is just fold this over. You can match it up. Fold it over. And then we're gonna glue it to the back side. Using a liquid glue. Oops. Squeeze this in. Have it fit on your backside. And what I did is I just folded it over and I held it for a little bit. <clears throat> but usually as well. I always keep these little close pins. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open it with one hand. And then you can oh that one broke. Close pin it, let it hold while we do the rest. So let's go ahead and fussy cut this again. Does anybody have big plans for this summer? We have so many camping trips coming up. Might we definitely make an use of our trailer. So we're gonna adhere this one to this one. We're gonna go up to Tahoe for a week in August. We're going up to Palm Springs in July. And Palm Springs, so we're staying at our timeshare. So we're gonna use a dimensional on this one. We'll just put it here again on the side. Put our cup. And then we're gonna tie a bow with the twine. And we're going to put that on the heart. Oops. Tie a bow. I know it's fun to sit here and bird watch. We have quite a bit of birds. I'm not a... Can't identify birds very well, but we have quite a bit that come around. We'll put a glue dot. We're gonna put that one right there. And we're gonna use a glue dot to adhere our heart. So I put it to like the left and then put it right there like that. Okay, so the way we're gonna keep this down is I have these little magnets that I purchased on Amazon. If I can locate the link I will locate it and put it on my blog, I'll, um, or not my blog, the Facebook page. And so I'm going to use two glue dots on these. So two, put it in here, and then We'll add two together. The two just makes it uh, stronger to hold. Put this one right here. Oh yeah, see the hummingbird just flew up again. It's like you could hear them. They're so like they're like I say they're so fast. Just an amazing little bird. So there's that. And what we'll 
do is we'll put two dimensionals here. And oops, we'll put our circle right there. And that is it. That is our third project. So you get a little tote bag. You can see I made one handle way too long, this one. But there's our third project of the day. Here was our second project. And our first project. So I hope you guys like them. Do you have any questions about anything? Or my my um project sheets aren't um understandable, let me know. But anyway, I hope you guys have a great week. Um if you want the ma these make and takes, you need to use this host code and place a $35 order by um, next Monday. So you guys all have a great week and I will see you back here next Wednesday. Have a good week, you guys. Bye-bye.